So, obviously, we've no, both known each other for a while, and we have a lot in common because we both were raised in Chicago. You got a lot of hometown Chicago pride? Yes, I definitely do. What about you? Like, I think you asked Common what part of Chicago he was from, Well, right? no, because that was he, part of the game, he thinks right? he's from the south side. Uh -huh. I'm from the south side. He's from the east side. I mean, you and Common make the cutest couple ever. Thank you. What do you, what do you most like about the guy? Since releasing his debut album in 1992, Common has had a lot of success as an artist, but as a person, he's been way beyond what is expected of him. Along with his solo work, the rapper was a member of the Soulquarians alongside D'Angelo, Moss Def, and Q-Tip. He's also starred in movies including Selma, American Gangster, and Happy Feet, and has a Golden Globe, an Oscar, and three Grammys to his name. First I, first I would like to thank God that lives in us all. Recently, John and I got to go to Selma and perform Glory on the same bridge that Dr. King and the people of the Civil Rights Movement marched on 50 years ago. But the bald-headed rapper is also known for dating several celebrities, the latest being Jennifer Hudson. With just months into their official relationship announcement, it is now being reported that the two have split up after Common stole something from his singer girlfriend. According to Whispers Making Rounds, the This Is Love hitmaker went ballistic after finding out Common has been using her money without her permission, officially ending the relationship that seemed perfect just a few months ago. Since her days on American Idol, Jay Hood has been a fan favorite. After her success in the 2006 Dreamgirls film, she became engaged to pro wrestler and I Love New York alum David Otunga. Shortly after, she gave birth to Otunga Jr. with hopes of a future marriage. According to RadarOnline.com, Kama Hudson vowed she would never marry when the couple broke up in 2017. Following the lengthy breakup, Hudson remained single and focused on her son, David Jr., and her self-titled talk show. That is until things between Jay Hud and Common heated up. Radar Online reports that the singer and rapper have known each other for a while, but grew closer while they filmed the upcoming film, Breathe in 2023. I'll be back as soon as I can. Turn out each other while I'm gone. Although the couple appeared seemingly happy in the beginning, sources close to the singer revealed that she was being extra cautious about protecting her peace. Common has gained a reputation as a playboy in the music industry. The rapper has publicly dated and broken the hearts of multiple women in entertainment, including Erica Badu, Taraji P. Henson, Serena Williams, and most recently, Tiffany Haddish. The 51-year-old rapper's long dating rap sheet is adding fuel to her fire of apprehension. Common never married any of his A-list exes, but he said he is ready to settle down. He stated, I feel like I have grown, and the work that I've done on myself has allowed me to see that I am the marrying type, while visiting Hoda and Jenna on the Today Show. How did you get better? Like, what were you like before in relationships, and how are you today? Well, I think I got better because certain things that I would do in relationships were based on childhood experiences. Yeah. But a few weeks ago, news emerged that Hudson had rejected Common's marriage proposal, and some revisited Tiffany Haddish's reason for parting ways with the rapper, hoping they could finally find an answer, as they thought Hudson's rejection and Haddish's reasons for splitting with Common were somehow related. Some commentators found their way into Haddish's comment section after she posted a video about her noticing things going on in the world. The girls' trip actor, who went live on Instagram while getting her makeup done, called herself a noticer, who sometimes puts people on notice when she notices things they are doing. After abruptly ending the video without going into detail about what she was talking about, Haddish wrote in her caption, Sorry, gotta finish that makeup. Draw your own conclusions. Have an awesome day. I wanted to share with y'all a few things that I have been noticing. <laughs> I've been noticing stuff, you know, um, I'm a noticer. Mm. And uh, I'll be noticing. And sometimes I put people on notice that I notice. And sometimes I don't say Why people say I say a lot, but I ain't gonna say The California native dated the Like Water for Chocolate chart topper throughout the COVID-19 pandemic from the summer of 2020 to the end of 2021. Multiple reasons have been given by both celebrities about why they broke up. Common said in 2021 the split was mutual and motivated by the busyness of their careers. Haddish would not go into details about the breakup until recently, stating that she was disappointed in the truthfulness of his explanation, claiming he told her something different. It wasn't mutual. It was more him saying, I think this relationship has run its course. And I was like, okay, like you're gonna be a 50-year-old single man, okay? She explained in June, 2023. 
By the summer of 2022, Common, the Oscar winner who is only one Tony away from being an EGOT, was romantically linked to the former American Idol contestant. Interestingly, Hudson is one of seven black individuals who have achieved EGOT status. Common has been extremely complimentary talking about Hudson, calling her one of the most beautiful persons she has ever met. I'll say this, speaking of Chicago, she's a Chicagoan and an amazing human being. I've always been like inspired by her. She's one of the most beautiful people I've ever met on the planet. Incredible heart, um, and she's just dope, he once said to Al Roker on the Today Show. Rumors suggest that the Glory rapper asked Hudson to marry him, but she turned him down. Allegedly, she dropped him after he proposed, wrote one person in Haddish's comments, while another said, girl, you know good and well you want that narcissist back. There have been no official reports about an engagement or ring though, according to the March 25th edition of the National Enquirer, reported that Hudson turned him down, not because she didn't think he was great, or because of all the other celebrity women he had dated. She allegedly said no, because she had no interest in being married. If the breakup rumors are true, a few fans warned Haddish not to take Common back due to his history of being in long-term relationships with the likes of Taraji P. Henson, Erica Badu, Serena Williams, Angela and others and never proposing. According to them, Common probably can't even spell the word commitment. Ouch. Many have been smitten with Common and Hudson's romance, which they seemingly confirmed during his appearance on her talk show in January this year. He presented her with a big bouquet of flowers as he entered the set, and during their sit-down interview, the Dream Girls star asked if he was dating anyone. I'm in a relationship that is with one of the most beautiful people I've met in life, he states never naming Hudson before referring to her career highlights. She's smart. She loves God. She has something really down to earth about her. She's talented. But I set my standard kind of high because she had to have an EGOT, he stated, never naming Hudson. She had to win an Oscar for her first movie. I set my standard high. She had to get her own talk show. I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. Afterward, the barbershop, the next cut star, got fans excited about the possibility of the two tying the knot while on Today with Hoda and Jenna. I feel like I have grown and the work that I've done on myself has allowed me to see that I am a marrying type. I am the type that am, I'm capable, I had a capacity. I feel like I have grown, and the work that I have done on myself has allowed me to see that I am a marrying type, Common explained. I'm capable and I have the capacity, and if at some point in my life I may want to do that, I would know when the right time is. He added, for me, everything is divine. I work from that discernment that God speaks, when he speaks into your stomach and you feel it in your heart and your spirit. So when I would feel that, I will communicate with that person, and if she's feeling that, then why not? Common has never been married. However, Hudson, as mentioned earlier, was previously engaged to her child's father, a Harvard Law graduate, a professional wrestler, and a former I Love New York reality star, David Otunga. While some believe Hudson is not the marrying type, Haddish seems to be preparing herself to be a wife. I have no idea, when asked while they were dating if she and Common were going to get married. I would love for him to always be my friend. If he decides he wants to marry me, cool. But I don't want a ring. I want an apartment building. You know how they are, like, present me with a ring. I want him to present me with the deed to a duplex. Haddish has stated that she's keeping her options open these days after being spotted with a fellow comedian and kissing a Bitcoin investor. However, last August, she revealed that she had bought a wedding dress but had no plans to actually get married. In a past interview, Common indirectly revealed that he was addicted to love, a notion a good chunk of people didn't buy. Having too much of anything can end up being a bad thing. But is that true when it comes to love? The rapper thinks so. As we grow into responsible adults, we're taught to eat, drink, and spend in moderation. But when it comes to relationships, we tend to unapologetically and recklessly indulge to no end. And despite popular belief, this fact doesn't just apply to women. According to Common in his interview with The Breakfast Club, men can be love addicts too. The rapper released a memoir, Let Love Have the Last Word, detailing both the physical and emotional traumas that he's faced in his life, including but not limited to emotional abuse and among other things. Like many black men in America, Common had been burdened with unsurmountable psychological damage that he knew could only be fixed from the inside out. After acknowledging his need to seek professional help, the rapper was confronted with some previously unknown truths about himself. In the interview, Common opened up about a former addiction, one that, 
unlike most people, wasn't dependent on illegal substances or alcohol. The Grammy winner explained that his drug of choice was love. He told The Breakfast Club host that he wasn't even aware of his unhealthy habit until his therapist brought it to his attention. The pattern I found myself in, and my therapist broke it down, was the feeling of being in love in that honeymoon period. I was addicted to that feeling. The now 52-year-old actor and rapper clarified that his dependency wasn't on S, but on the intense emotional connection that he had built with former partners. Common explained that he was able to find a temporary fix in each new woman he had fallen for, but his rock bottom came when it was time to do the real work in a relationship. He explained, when that feeling would go away and the real part of the relationship came, I was like, okay, do I want this or not? I wasn't ready to do the work. I'm not always succeeding at it, but mm -hmm. I'm striving towards it. And the places I have succeeded, I want to tell those stories. So people that go through it, they feel like, man, I, I, I understand, like, I ain't gonna always have it perfect because love is a daily practice. The Chicago native said that his affinity to love and leave wasn't because he didn't care about the women he had fallen for, but more so because he wasn't willing to be introspective and acknowledge his own faults. I obviously care for the person, but when things got tough and it was time to work through stuff, I wasn't willing to work through it. In the past, Common had a very public relationship, an equally public split from political commentator Angela Rye. While they both have been tight-lipped about the split, they claim to remain friends and were even later seen at the Potter's House Dallas, enjoying a sermon from T.D. Jakes side-by-side -side in the pews. But you didn't hear it from us. Despite all the relationship failures so far, Common still believes in love. He even gave some advice from fellow Chicago native Michelle Obama on how to snag a true gem. The forever first lady explained to the rapper that perfection can tend to be our worst enemy. She said basically that sometimes when you're looking for the right person, you're not always looking for perfection because you're not perfect. You gotta be able to look at someone and see all the great qualities and the things that you may not have. You allow them to be who they are. If you're looking to slide into Common's DMs and shoot your shot, he told Stephen Colbert that a woman has to have these qualifications to make the cut. I love people who are caring, loving, just open-hearted. I like intelligent but fun people. I like people who treat other people well. And I like a woman who challenges me, who challenges me to grow. She helps me to grow and I help her grow. We support each other and we can go out and do good in the world and have fun, have a good glass of wine. But from what we now know, it seems Common's way of being open-hearted is sharing sharing the resources a woman has. The rapper also revealed that she has no problems remaining close friends with his exes. The award winner actor appeared on The Kelly Clarkson Show to answer the age-old question of whether someone can really be friends with an ex. The rapper was there to promote his new wellness book, And Then We Rise, which dropped in January this year, and the topic of exes came up during a game of Finding Common Ground. The Grammy, Oscar, and Emmy winner, who has been linked to several stars, told Clarkson that just because people can't be lovers doesn't mean they can't be friends. Can you be friends with an ex? Yes, I could definitely be friends with an ex. I mean... Like, how long was the relationship? Um, I mean, I've been friends with a lot of exes that I've had. Yes, I can definitely be friends with an ex. I mean, I've been friends with a lot of exes that I've had and they've been long relationships, said the I used to love her rapper. We go through stuff at the beginning of the breakup, but once we come to our grounds, it's like we're good people, we're cool people. So what do you think? Can you be friends with an ex? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.